Hey everyone, let's look at number 10 in section 4.7, an interesting little problem here. We've got a poster of area 2,160 square centimeters. It's going to have blank margins of 10 centimeters wide on the top and bottom and 6 centimeters wide on the sides. We're going to find the dimensions uh, that maximize the printed area. So the printed area would be the area uh, that is inside all the margins. So I drew a little picture here to help. Um, so we've got the poster, rectangular in shape. We're going to assume that to be true. <laughs> and then we've got margins on the top and bottom of 10 centimeters and on the sides here of 6 centimeters. So this area here would be our printed area. You know, we'd have words, picture, whatever. That's the actual printed area. And we don't want anything in uh, the margin to be printed. So what what are the dimensions that will maximize this printed area? So th this area in here, how do we maximize that area? Now, when they say the dimensions, uh, they're not very clear. I don't like that. They should tell you the dimensions of the actual poster because we have the dimensions of the poster, which I'm calling uh, X and Y. X is the width and Y is the height of the poster. Um, the uh, other dimensions would be, of course, the dimensions of the printed area itself. It has a, a width and a height. So they should be very clear on that, and they're not. Um, th and they actually do want the uh, uh, dimensions of the poster, though, in this problem. All right, so first of all, we, we have a constraint, and that is that the total area of the poster is uh, 2,160 square centimeters. So the area of the whole of the whole poster, and that's the area of the whole poster, is x times y. <laughs> so we have this relationship. And of course, I can solve, for instance, y is that area um, divided by x. So we want to maximize the printed area. And so our printed area, I'll let be p. What's the area of the um, printed area as in terms of x and y? Well, notice the width of this printed area is not x. x is the, the width of the poster itself. But here's the width we're looking at. Notice that's x, what? I have to take away 6 from both sides, so a total of 12. It's x minus 12. That's the width of the poster. And then similarly, the height, the whole sheet of uh, poster, the whole poster is y. But then I have to take away 10 for the top and bottom, so y minus 20. So this product is the uh, function we want to uh, maximize. So let's go and follow this out, x times y. Um, outer negative 20x, inner negative 12y, last negative times negative positive 240. Okay, so this is what I want to maximize. It's a function of two variables. I want to get it to be a function of one variable. So I'm going to substitute in y equals 2,160 divided by x. But I want to talk about the restraints uh, or constraint on x that we have, what's feasible for x. Um, it's not just greater than zero, like you might think looking here. Um, because we have to have this printed margin area, right? The printed area X cannot be, you can see right here, less than 12, right? The minimum would be X equal 12, technically. In that case, what's going on, right? If X is 12, then we just have these two margins and our printed area has collapsed down to just a vertical line, a vertical line. Of course, in that case, when X is 12, I can divide and sign y by dividing the uh, area by 12, and I get 180. So basically, we have a poster that's 12 centimeters wide, very narrow, and 180 uh, centimeters high, very, very tall and thin. But there, the printed area would just be a line, be zero, zero area in that case. The other extreme is, of course, uh, let y get as small as possible. And y can't go to zero again. You can see right here, the smallest y can be is 20. In that case, the printed area is zero. And that's just where we collapse down this way. We have just a printed area, is just a horizontal line. And we have uh, the 10 centimeter margin, top and bottom, total of just 20 centimeters would be our height of our poster. And of course, in that case, I can find x in that case would be 108 uh, centimeters. So it would be 108 centimeters wide and then just 20 centimeters um, in height. So I do all this to note that x can be as small as 12 and as big as 108. So it's not everything greater than zero or from zero to 108. It is uh, 
you know, restricted to these values. So we have a closed interval, actually. Uh, we know the printed area is zero at these endpoints. And so we're just going to find the critical point, check the value of the critical point, and that should give us the maximum. So uh, plugging in a Y is 2,160 divided by X here and here gives me this. Of course, simplifying X times this is just 2,160. And I'll go ahead and add the 240 to that. 2,160 plus 240 is 2,400. So I've got that. And then 12 times 2160 is 2,000 or 25,920. It'll be all divided by X or times X to the negative one. And remember, this is the restriction as we talked about on X. So how do we maximize this function on this closed interval? We first find the derivative. Of course, the derivative of constant is zero. Derivative of negative 20 X is negative 20. And this is bring negative one down positive 25,920x to the negative 2, which I can write this way. So when is our derivative 0? Where's our critical values at? Well, the derivative will be 0 when this fraction here is positive 20, right? Because negative 20 plus 20 would be 0. So when is this equal to 20? We'll multiply by x squared. I get 20x squared is 25,920. Divide both sides by 20. I get x squared is 1296, and the square root of that is 36. And as we said, if I do a table of values here to show that I have a maximum at the endpoints 12 and 108, right, the, the, uh, the printed area is 0. But at 36, if I plug 36 into this function here and evaluate it, I get 960. So 960 square centimeters is our maximum printed area. And that occurs when the poster's width is 36. What's the value of y? Remember, y is um, 2,160 divided by x. So in this case, x is 36, and we get 60. So the dimensions of the poster, and this is what they want, 36 centimeters is the width, 60 centimeters is the height to maximize the printed area. What's the actual dimensions of the printed area? Well, if we go back, uh, we know that x is 36, all right? What's the width of our printed area? Well, it's 36 minus 12, right? Because we got to take away 6 from each side. So 36 minus 12 gives me 24. That's the width of the printed area. And then remember, we have a margin of 10 inches on the top and bottom. So the 60 minus the 10 minus the 10 minus 20 is 40 centimeters. So our printed area, 24 centimeters wide, 40 centimeters high. Okay, so I hope this helps on this one. Uh, interesting problem. By the way, you could have done the problem as well by letting x be the width of the printed area and y being the height of the printed area. Slightly different approach, but it can be done that way as well. You get the same answer either way. Um, um, if, hope, if there's any questions about this, uh, let me know.